Well, it's a new type of learning that is turning the high school experience upside down. Stella Acquisto with a unique program that allows students to choose what they study and how much time they spend studying it. <laughs> Our choice of school was Mary Ward Catholic Secondary School. According to the Ontario Ministry of Education, characteristics of the curriculum are the teacher, the learner, and knowledge and skills, the method and strategies, and the performance. Mary Ward is a school that starts in grade 9 and ends in grade 12. At Mary Ward, the curriculum model centers around the learner and the student itself. It evolves around the student's needs, interests, and goals. Mary Ward is a self-paced learning school where students get to choose how they learn and how they work on their own pace. Students choose their preferred style of learning and learn as they go to how to manage their time, course load, and other challenges that may come up. Furthermore, Mary Ward is more towards the independent sort of student. If there is any structure to self-paced learning, it revolves around the average 65 individual teachers at Mary Ward. The flexibility of the system allows bright students to flourish. They can move ahead at their own pace often finishing a year's course before June. When they finish all coursework and are ready to write the final exam, they go to the test center. Method of learning, Mary Ward here in Scarborough is one of the two schools across the province that has been teaching self-directed learning for years. I knew what I had to prioritize. Tharani Therapran is not in class at Mary Ward today because she's actually finished her entire course load for the year. I was able to work and balance my extracurriculars and then focus on what I want to do and then so I was able to finish things faster. Self-directed learning means there are no semesters. The students have 14 months to finish a course and they even have the choice to go to school for five years instead of four to finish off any lingering work. They get more time, so less fall behind. I just picked it up. I went really fast and finished my courses before they were actually supposed to be finished. Teachers and teaching assistants are also there to help and make sure the students stay on track. If you're a fast, disciplined learner, then you'll just blend into it fine. Um, if not, then you will. you might have some difficulties, but it's, it's not a hard system to adjust to. And for those getting ready to adjust to a new system next year, some words of advice for the kids who've been there. Try to work at your own pace. I mean, it's, it's good to get ahead, but as long as you keep up with target dates, then I think they'll adapt pretty well to it. Mary Ward provides students with its unique learning space different departments visible in school space that include math, science, English, arts, and music. These departments are divided into smaller study sections for students to work on their assignments individually. Uh, for equipment, certain departments have their needed equipment for students to use. For example, in the science lab, you can find all needed materials for practical work and in the music department, there are instruments available for students' access. Some classrooms are equipped with interactive touch screens for learning. Furthermore, lighting in the rooms have enough natural light coming in and bright lights are placed in classrooms without natural lights. Mary Ward does have an elevator for teachers and students with physical needs. However, there are no ramps in the school, so certain areas are not as accessible as they can be. Departments are organized precisely to create space within the classrooms to enhance interaction as well as have resources. As you can see, the timetable is divided into different sections. However, students can choose what each period will be focused on. Where you see no movement period, students are encouraged to stay put in the department of choice instead of walking around the hall to avoid distractions. 
Furthermore, students check in with their TAs at 8.40 a.m. and 12.35 p.m. and again at 2.40 p.m. This is so that TAs are able to monitor their students and making sure that they still are in class. The learning opportunities at Mary Ward include math, science, music, language, arts, and social sciences departments. All these departments are well equipped with different equipment that are needed for students to do practical work, such as a science laboratory for practical work. In the music department, there are instruments that students can have access to if they need to work on any course that relates to music. For food and nutrition courses, the kitchen is well equipped with basic necessities for a student to access. These include an oven, a countertop, a sink, utensils, and anything else that a student might need. Before using the kitchen, however, the student needs to seek permission from the facilitator and their respected TAs before being able to do so. They also would need to learn the health and safety aspect before starting on any practical work. The role of the facilitator. TA to group. The TA is presented with the students from 8.45 to 9 a.m. and they are there to check in on them as a group before the day starts and to approve their daily timetable and encourage them if they may seem like they are falling behind or can make better choices as to what they are willing to work on for the day. TA to individual. During the interview times, the TA is there to help the students stay on track by checking on their progress with the course load. The TA is also there to ensure that the students' needs are met if they need assistance with anything from school to personal needs. They act as support system to the students. At Mary Ward, the role of the learner includes learning with the TA, being independent, being responsible with their course load, and attending seminars. How a learner can work with the TA includes being present, accepting training, and taking simple to complex responsibilities that promote learning. At Mary Ward, the role of the learner is to be proactive about signing up for seminars on particular topics of the course while they are available and spend time each day to get help from their facilitators. These seminars happen on a weekly basis for each course and for each topic. Resources are also available for the learner to make use of to achieve their goal and be able to complete their courses in a timely manner. The learner is also responsible to handling their course load in a timely fashion and also checking in with a TA from time to time to make sure that they're not falling behind and seeking the help that they need. SDL at any educational setting integrate educator need to base their moral learning environment on their for foundation of SDLS to ensure full learning and development. These four foundations apply regardless of age, ability, culture, language, geography, and setting. This is able to students to explore the all around them. At Mary World, learning takes place powerful in indoor and outdoor space that invite them to investigate, imagine, think, create, solve problem and make meaning from their experience. Learning and growth is the basic of high quality program that continuously improve and create contexts that are meaningful of the children. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the discussion questions that are to come.
We hope that you have learned a lot about this school and this way of learning, and we would love to hear your feedback on it.